Stephen Masi Yabumba. Yabumbi of Zimbabwe is the referee and we're underway in a contest between boxers from England and Mexico. 86 kilogram cruiserweight division is the weight bracket and we're in the second preliminary round of the tournament. Both men competing in their second contest. of the Belgrade World Championships. It's a good performance in his first bout in this is World Championship debut by Conor Tudsbury. To outpoint the man from Israel, Jan Zak, on a unanimous points verdict. And as mentioned, when the bout was announced, Rogelio Romero was declared a 3-2 split decision. Vanquished boxer. But on bout review, he has been reinstated. And so the experienced man from Mexico, who was an Olympic quarter finalist, takes a right hook there from Conor Tudsbury, facing off against the 21-year-old from Manchester. So approaching the halfway stage, and it's a busy start this from Conor Tudsbury. Romero, a very experienced boxer. 2019 Pan Am Games bronze medalist, as well as that quarterfinal finish in Tokyo. Good right hand to the body landed by Tudsbury. And Tudsbury looking to be the aggressor behind that lead left jab. Nice use of the feet from Tudbury to make the man miss. He scored with a right hand to the body, did Tudbury during that exchange. Romero looking to come forwards, but he's targeting the, targeting the body to terrific effect. Here's Tudbury, blocked that southpaw left hook nicely and fought his way out when he was threatening to be crowded. Romero came stepping in and a sharp right hand landed once again. So he's giving out some terrific deterrence Here's Tudbury there, he's picked off by a southpaw right as he went in search of a left. But when Romero attempts to press this tall, often front foot pressure fighter, although he can box effectively on the back foot and moving laterally as well, while well, Tudbury is saying, well, this is the price you're going to have to pay to get into my wheelhouse. Terrific work from the man in red. Romero coming forwards, a tentative left hand thrown to the body. Both men looking for right hooks. Speculative left uppercut thrown by Romero, didn't find the range. Closing seconds of the opening round. And Tudbury again with a solid left hand, which he followed up with a straight left. Terrific work by Conor Tudbury, counter-attacking when Rogelio Romero, the Olympic quarter-finalist, looks to put it on him. Terrific work. Lee pulling into the red corner immediately with the instructions. Well, Romero keeping his composure, but that was a difficult first round for him, for my money, and that's why it's been scored unanimously in favour of Conor Tudbury from Manchester. Terrific work. Well, Rogelio Romero has consistently proven himself to be one of the best boxers in the Americas. Had the, well, he was operating at light heavyweight at the same time as Julio Cesar La Cruz, and so it was often La Cruz who accounted for him in regional and continental tournaments. But that was a sensational display from Conor Tudsbury. So we go into the second round then. And Rogelio Romero is going to have to do something different here, but what can he do different? There he targets the body of the man in red. Being a career-long cruiserweight, excuse me, a career-long light heavyweight. The man in blue coming up to 86 kilograms here. Connor Tudsbury was in action in the European Continental Championships earlier this year in Rosetto. For the under 22 as he scores with another snaking upward single. Rogelio comes back with a southpaw right and then he gets just worked over while he's on the ropes. But as recently as earlier this year in Rosetto, Conor Tudbury was competing in the 75 kilogram middleweight division. 
lost in the second preliminary round of that continental tournament. I was there to commentate on that, the event. And it was an accidental clash of heads after a round, well, it was less than a minute, 30 seconds if memory serves. And in those 30 seconds that elapsed, Connor four cards with precious few punches thrown by either boxer, truth be told. Terrific work once again. As Tudbury looking to apply the pressure and turn up the heat on his man. Spoken to about no rabbit punches around the rear of the head. Just stealing a glance to his blue corner is Romero. He's a patient boxer. But when he tried to get on the front foot, look, he's picked off by a rapid fire left jab there as he tries to advance. So he's in a really difficult position here is Romero, the taller of the two boxers. Because whether he triggers the attack, when he, get, when he triggers the attack, Romero, he gets picked off. And when he waits, well, you see, Tudbury then triggers himself. So this game of cat and mouse on the canvas of the boxing ring being navigated very effectively by Connor Tudbury as he comes forward, dodging and darting, bobbing and weaving behind a left jab as well. And Romero is finding this a very difficult puzzle to solve. Tries a southpaw right jab, did Romero a few moments ago. But as he waits, Tudbury beats him. Tudbury beats him to the shot again, but Romero did counter with a shot downstairs as Tudbury scored with a left jab. Closing seconds of this second round. Beautiful right hand from Tudbury. So quick and so accurate. Less so with that follow-up salvo. The right left was off the mark from Tudbury. Burst of activity once again keeps Romero occupied. But look at the head jolted back from Romero as he looked to close the distance once again. Two rounds in the book. That is the bell to conclude the action in ring A. And for my money, that's another round in favour of this man, Connor Tudbury of England, boxing very well indeed. And, well, Rogelio Romero is going to face an uphill struggle for me as we prepare to go into the final round. What say the judges? Two rounds in the book, both of them scored unanimously in favour of England's Connor Tudbury. Very good display against an experienced, accomplished operator. Some of the action then from the second round. And here's an example of the sharp punch picking from Tudbury, backing up Romero. Punches coming in from a variety of angles and with such speed. Look at that. He let one single shot go and was picked off by two. Fantastic counter attacking from Connor Tudbury. And Romero can't get to grips with this man. But there is a good southpaw left as Romero starts this third and final round with serious intent. And having come out second best at distance, Romero looking to put his physicality on Conor Tudbury. After landing that shot, he walked his man back. But Conor Tudbury won't back away from that type of physical challenge. Man who's a product of the Moss Side Fire Station Boxing Club, ahead of commentating on one of his previous tournaments, had a chat with his coach, Nigel Travis, who's been with Conor Tudbury since the age of eight years of age. And during the course of that conversation, Nigel Travis told me that he could do one armed pull-ups, Conor Tudbury, when he walked in the gym at eight. Incredible athlete. For what it's worth, Travis feels that he could have been successful at just about any sport he turned his hand to. As he scores with a left hook and then a right hand to the body, which was more, the more effective of the two shots. But we're all thankful that he's chosen the sport of boxing because he's acquitting himself very well indeed in this, his first world championships. Competed in the World Youth Championships in Budapest in 2018. Came away with a bronze medal at 75 kilograms, but here he is up at 86 kilogram cruiserweight as he scores with a double right hand and a right hand once again. And Romero, well, he's being pushed to the margins of this contest, clinging on just to allow his head to clear because there was a hard right hand slammed in by Connor Tudbury. And look at that, winding up a left hand. And in the meantime, he was fed a stiff left jab by Connor Tudbury, who's beginning to enjoy his work here now, remaining concentrated, looking for the right hand lead. It was blocked by the left glove of Romero. But Romero 
Again, the reigning. There's a good right hand to the body from the man in blue. And then a good right hook upstairs because this is an accomplished operator who knows what he's doing. But he simply hasn't been able to find any rhythm or flow because of the ring craft and boxing IQ demonstrated by Conor Tudsbury. It's been a terrific performance, but there's still time left for Romero to produce a finishing shot because let me tell you, the man's right hook is potent indeed. He was in Lima when he took that, that Pan Am Games bronze. World Series boxing experience as well for the Mexico Guerreros. Man, I've covered extensively over the years. But again, Connor Tudsbury as we approach a closing second. Not too far away from a southpaw left there, but look at how Tudsbury came back, ending that flurry of punches with a right hook. And Romero simply cannot find a range against his man. That is a quite brilliant display from Connor Tudsbury for my money. Set out his stall and fairly dominated from opening bell to last against the reigning Olympic quarter finalist. It took Arlen Lopez, the eventual champion, to eliminate Rogelio Romero from the Olympic Games in Tokyo this summer. And here on the world championship stage, a man making his senior world championship debut has left glum expressions on the faces of the coaches in the blue corner. Let's get official confirmation. Well, Conor Tudsbury allows himself a little celebration at having been declared a unanimous points decision victor over the reigning Pan Am Games bronze medalist and 2020 Olympic quarter finalist. A career best win for Conor Tudsbury sees him progress through to the quarter final stage.